Hello, Internet! Vovilla here with episode 82 of Let's Play Skyrim. When we last left off, we did some... What did we do? What did we do? It's been a couple days since I recorded. What did we do? Um, I think we did that Daedra Prince side quest, didn't we? And then we bought a house in Markarth. Alright, now what we're gonna do is clear out some of these icons. Find King Law's verse. Kill bandit leader. I'm, okay, that's another dangerous side quest. So we'll do this first because it's closest. So let's fast travel there. And continuing to edit out our loading screens because they can be lengthy. Even if they're not lengthy, I'll still add them out because they can save us a couple minutes in the video. Alright, now then, I think we have to go south. Yes, we have to go south. Oh, wait, wait. I'm going south. Okay. <laughs> I don't know where I was going. <clears throat> nice and not very steep hill. Oh, and who's this? There's been word of some trouble nearby. I'm on my way to investigate. I like how you're in Ebony. Where are you headed? I probably shouldn't tell everyone who asks. This is important business, you know. Whatever you're getting paid, I'll double it. And that's not a whole lot of coin. <laughs> you want to pay me to do my job? Fine. I'll mark the location on your map. Just make sure to take care of whatever's going on there. It's my name on the line. Okay, mercenary. Even though that's a very generic name. I like how he has like ebony and like steel. He, he is like. I have some time to kill. His armor is all over the place. He has an orc mace. Ebony helmet, ebony armor, but then steel boots and no gauntlets. Alright, where am I going? I keep doing it. It's map. M key, not... Ta okay, so it's to the left. I don't... Whoa! I was gonna say, I didn't see anything until that happened. Okay, so I had to go up there. What the hell? Okay, game! <laughs> <laughs> Someone just did my job for me. What is going on today? I did. I'm do, we're gonna do this guy's job, that mercenary over there, and then someone just did our job. Okay. Today's definitely a Wednesday. Everything can either go horribly wrong or everything's gonna be extremely weird. I haven't even got a chance to go up there. You know, I'm just gonna go up there. So. We have the map icon discovered thingy, like this place. Yep, I see a red dot. I see three red dots. What? Why am I saying red dots? And they disappeared. Okay. I'm, I'm, I already have a good idea that this is going to be a very weird episode. And yes, guys, don't worry, I have been keeping track of the time. Uh, I think the last episode was appropriate length. Even after I edit down uh, the loading screens, because it was like 38 minutes, and now it's like, what, 35, 36? So I said it's an appropriate length. Mud crab. Oh, mud crab, oh, mud crab. Crap's recording? Alright, I hope it is. Now let's hope we don't have another computer crash, because that was annoying. Seriously, I was, I was depressed when my computer crashed like that in like over a year. What's this? What is this? Oh, Forsworn. Missed. Miss. Hit! Nice job! Is there another archer? I mean, it was just him. It sounded like someone else shot at me while I was taking this guy down. And you have nothing on you. Just a bunch of crap. Ooh, coin. Ooh, yes, coin. And I'm hitting all the wrong keys again. Uh... Where's the other guy? I shouted at the gun. Oh, there he is. 
There he is. Nothing on him. Alright, let me check my map. I keep hitting the tab key. I need to hit the M key. I mean, that's what happens when you play Fallout every now and then. You get your keys muddled up. Alright, um... I still wanted to go here. Accordingly, according to the map, it's already been cleared. What the hell? All right, I, I keep doing that. I gotta stop hitting... I, I keep hitting the M key. I mean, I'm supposed to be hitting the M key. I'm hitting the tab key. Apparently, this place has already been cleared out. I don't even know how that's possible. I mean, whoever is over here... I mean, who, who's over here? I saw someone cast a fire spell. And who are you? Excuse me, but have you seen my headdress? I seem to have misplaced it. Alright then. Alright, well she's the one who did our job and, and cleared out this place. Silly custom NPCs. Doing your job for you. Strangest thing. And you don't know what to do with that. And get another one. Oh, silent type, huh? Hey, Mr. Briarheart. I don't appreciate you people doing my own job. You know, I don't even care. I just want to come here and, and like, have it located on my map, and I can come here later and figure out what, what this place is for. Because there's a pedestal. Oh, autosave? Okay. That's why I get right in the tab key constantly. Alright, now I gotta go... Okay, we'll do that later. I wanna... Go here and do this. What's this? I lost first. Probably quicker to go here first. Probably be quicker. About five to six minutes of recording, and we haven't done a damn thing yet. Yeah, yeah I hit the right key this time. Okay, that direction. Um... Right, I think I've already been in that cave, so... Oh, um, hmm, um, okay, that didn't hurt, that hurt, not really, how'd I miss, okay, okay, they're dead, they're dead, stop it, <sighs> all right, We have to go dragon. We have to go to the dragon and kill it. Where is this dragon? There's the dragon. It's right, come down to me. Nope, nope, you're fighting me, dragon. Hey! Look at me! Look at me! And some wolves decided to jump in. That was interesting. Hey, nom 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 nom! I like to thank the dragon for saving this episode from being boring. Cause that's where the that was heading until the dragon came. That's a nice catch line. So we have an up we have a boring episode until a dragon came. And yeah, we have to go in here and do something. Look at those ruins. Remarkable. Um, yeah. Remarkable. That's totally how I see ruins too, Jordis. Wow, remarkable. 
I wonder how quick we can get killed in here. <laughs> Alright, now... That's a dead bard. And he's gonna help us get through this place. And we're gonna have to kill some Drago. Some low level Draugr. Really? I did everything myself? Why does it take her so long to kill these Draugr? I mean, the time it took me to kill three of them, she's still working on the first one. Come on, Jordan, step up your game. I gave you all those nice weapons and armor so you can kill these guys faster. I might have to get her a better bow, because I know she's like, like being an archer and stuff. That might be the problem, because I think her she still has the generic hunting bow. May have to fix that. <clears throat> up, 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 pressure plate. Really? Really, Jordis? <sighs> oh, it's one of those things. Shop phone. Who's <laughs> shouting at me? Oh, that's broken. She's fighting the Draugr through the wall. I don't want that crap. Take this, though. There be something good in here. Alright, let's take a look. Oh, well, that's actually not bad. Okay. <clears throat> Jordis, you're not very intimidating. You better work on that. Did I just take some crappy item I didn't need? I did. I took hide bracers. I don't need that. Okay. Well, let's see, there should be a switch over here. Those doors are so loud. Oh! Oh, I didn't have to do anything. Nice and planned. Nice and planned. I was gonna say stealth something, that didn't work. Oh, come on, collect items. What's this? The buying game! Skillbook. Excellent. Ah, uh, ah! George, just stop doing that! Seriously, she's gonna get us killed. That girl is gonna get us killed. And she stepped on in again. I can't collect coin, and she can't stop stepping on plates. Okay. Keep going. <clears throat> Have I gone this way? No, I haven't. Huh. Up, up, up. Hair Draugr. I heard a Draugr. Yeah, Siege generic Hunting Bow. I gotta get a better one. It's probably what's really affecting her right now. And I'm guessing we have to go down there. I'm guessing. 
I don't remember this place all that well, because I think I've only done it a couple of times. Nice and blocked off. I want that iron crap. There's some crap items in here. Alright, let's go down. Loot. What the hell is that? Loot. 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 Yeah, let me go back down. I keep thinking there's like a switch in here or something. Alright, just wasting time. Nice and fall off the thing. Alright. Uh, you have an amethyst. Okay, that's not a complete waste. Mm. Oh no, he has his hand raised. He obviously has a question. Why did you kill me? Well, you attacked me. So, you know. Defending myself and all. What do we have over here? Nice and trap. Oh, oh. I thought I was like in between them. Okay, that didn't go well. I may have to use my shout. Yeah, I'm gonna do that because I'm probably gonna be here a while. Where are you? Sucks I only have the first one. And I almost got my back cut, sliced in half. Okay, auto save. I want to go up to my powers. Give me back my fire breath. No. I know. I knew. I want my fire breath. Magically sealed door, that's where we have to go, but we'll do that later. Ooh, jogger. Oh no. No, 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 no! Why can't I shout? Seriously, there's that glitch in the game where if you get shouted at, you can't shout for like couple seconds for some unknown reason. And I don't know why it's like that. Ooh. Okay. And we are too heavy. Okay. Jordis, I need your assistance. Still here. I am at your command. Alright, what do I have I can get rid of? Seriously, oh, that's... I knew I forgot to do something. I had to get rid of this iron. You know what? Because they're so worthless. I'm just going to drop it. I knew I forgot to do something when I was when I was leaving. I almost equipped it. Oh, I don't want to do that. Here, just... It's probably not even, all this stuff's probably not worth 100 coin total, so... Whatever. I knew I forgot to do something. That's what happens when I don't record for several days. I don't remember everything off the top of my head. Ooh, it's behind the door. Nice and easy. Ooh. And it's also locked. Oh, there better be something good in here. Alright, so left or right? Left. Right to the left. Really? Hmm. 
Maybe it's a bit to the right. Yeah, okay, so it's a bit to the right. It's one of these master locks. You could just budge it a little bit and you'd be way off. There we go. Really? I did all that for a freaking pair of hide boots and some scaled helmet? Okay, game. Jordis, move. Jordis, move. Yeah, come yeah. <sighs> Frustrating. Oh no, she's been, <laughs> she's been locked out. <laughs> oh, nice job, game. She locked Jordis out. That's actually really funny. I got shot in the head. Still there. I got shot in the head. Okay, game. Lock Jordis out and shoot me in the head. Nice and not really horror film. I don't see the connection either. If, if you're wondering, I didn't see it either. I mean, the game tried and all, but still, and she's still locked out. <laughs> uh, I kind of feel sorry for George. I've been picking on her, and then the game's picking on her. I already, I already loot. I already loot you. I already loot you. I already done the looting of you. No, no, I want your heralds. Damn it, game. Game, my keys muddled up today. Uh. Oh, tr trap. I didn't see that right away. All right, let's flip the switch. Come on, Jordis, let's go. I think we're nearly there. The place isn't actually that big or difficult. I mean, we had to fight, like, what, two Death Lords? And here's the Bard. Mr. Svanir? Svaknir? You Svaknir? Well, it's nice to meet you, sir. It's too bad that we couldn't meet you... Oh, well, you're still alive, but, you know, whatever. And the book's ruined, of course. Some coin on you. Don't mind if I do. Alright, now there should be... Wait, is it, is it down here? Jordis, please. Just, just, just move. Just move. And I think we have to go up and around. Because that door that we saw earlier that was magically sealed... Should be open now. It is, is it up here? Uh, I don't remember. Oh, oh, hello. Didn't kill you. Well, it doesn't matter. Maybe he's gonna give us directions. Maybe he's gonna give us directions. Why did I kill him right away? It eh, doesn't matter. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there's the bard guy. Yeah, open the door, please. Oh, you're a mage? How about that? Alright, uh, we picked up a claw in the beginning of this cave. Ruins thing. Uh, what was it, Ruby? Yeah, Ruby Dragon Claw. Um, Skeever, Hawk Skeever. Okay. Uh, uh, gotta be a little bit closer than that. Okay, so the second one has to be Hawk. There we go. Okay. I like how these doors just take their time to open. I'm trying to get the potion here, it's not letting me. That's how I was going around.
Oh, you want to fight me? Okay. Stupid Draugr. Stupid Draugr. Oh, look, Joris. <laughs> you see that? Joris has been locked out again. Look. Oh, man, I feel so bad right now. Really? Really, Draugr? So many Draugr in this place. It's gonna be hard to loot them all. You're not gonna fight? You're not gonna fight? Maybe I should just take this weapon so you can't fight. Yeah, I don't think these guys really have anything, just some coin on them. Or an ingot. Let's run a blacksmith. Okay. Do you mind? I was looting. Do a Draugr, I swear. Sword to the 12 and 1. You know, I don't even care at this point. Whoa, it's King Olaf One Eye. What did he just do? He didn't disarm me, but what was that? Oh, he wasn't very strong. He had enemy sword and everything, but still wasn't really that strong. Okay. Whoa, he's glowing! Oh, hey, Jordis. And this show is... Fury World... Oh, okay, that's the second show, word of power for World of Sprint. Okay. And there should be loot. Ah, loot. We found the man who placed the loot, and we ourselves found the loot. I guess that makes... Why, why is there hide in here? Why, game? Why? You keep giving me hide. I don't want hide. I didn't even want hide when I first started playing with this character. I already have rusty old iron. Alright, well, let's get out of here. I don't even know how long we've been recording for. Once the large screen pops up and shows the time, I'll have a good idea how long it's been. Alright, now we should be... How did I miss some of these items? Have I not been paying attention? It doesn't matter. Alright, let's get out of here. Okay, it's been nearly 30 minutes. So we'll stop off uh, Solitude. Oops. Oh, it's my house. Okay, I've been in solitude enough times to realize that, but I still do it anyway. Okay, where's my house? That's not my house. Okay, where's my house? Lady Atia says my voice is second only to hers. 
But she's selling me short. Um, okay. Well, ah, you returned. I found King Hall's first. I have to admit, I didn't think it would actually be there. Now, let's take a look at this. Oh. Oh, no. This won't do at all. The copy is incomplete. It's aged to the point that parts are unreadable. And the parts that are readable... Well, bardic verse has come a long way since ancient times. What does that mean? It means I can't read it to the court. Without the verse, I won't be able to convince Elisif of the importance of the burning of King Olaf festival. If she isn't convinced of the festival's importance, then she won't reverse her decision to stop the effigy burning. It means that the burning of King Olaf, which the Bard's College has held for time immemorial, won't be happening. Can we just make up the missing parts? Make it up? That doesn't seem appropriate. I suppose I could copy his style based on what you brought me, but I have no idea what happened in between these verses. We can do this! What's the first verse? Oh, Olaf, our subjugator, the one-eyed betrayer, death-dealing demon and dragon-killing king, your legend is lies, lurid, and false. Your cunning capture of Numenex, a con for the ages. King Olaf was Olaf One-Eye? He famously captured the dragon Numenex and took him to Dragon's Reach. What did we say really happened? Um, Olaf was Numenex, a dragon in human form. I find that highly unlikely. But the court will love it. I'm writing it in. Okay, what's next? Olaf grabbed power by promise and threat. From fall grief to winter hold, they fell to their knees. But solitude stood strong, Skyrim's truest protectors. Olaf's vengeance was instant, inspired, and wicked. Strange. According to history, Solitude attacked Winterhold, but Asgir seemed to be saying Olaf reacted. What do we say happened? Olaf sacked it in dragon form? What? Okay. Oh, that is exciting! I'm sure the court and the Yara will love it. I'm, I'm writing it in now. Is that it? It has a few final lines, but that's all we needed to add. I need to head to court immediately and present this. You should come. Well, all right. Uh, we, we're going to go and hear him sing this to the Jarl at 10 o'clock at night. <laughs> we could probably do the next episode, but you know what? It probably takes a minute. Let me see here. 10, 11, no. We'll wait here. I got some stuff to sell. Shut up, phone! True. Take a look. Alright, well the game just crashed. Luckily we didn't miss anything because we just went up to I just went up to this guy. 
talk to him, and then as soon as, as take a look. inventory went up, the game froze. And I was like, oh man, the fraps probably stopped recording, so I went and looked, and the game crashed. You don't have a uh, ebony bow? That's fine. Because I should probably get one, because I have a glass bow right now. Alright, let's see, what can I sell? Gotta have those. It's probably what's weighing me down. Beer and said, hmm? Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Come back to bits and pieces anytime. All right, we're almost done with selling these, selling off these items, and then we can go ahead and see the Jarl quick. If you're looking for potions, you, you were there for Rogbeer's execution. I'll talk to her. Thank you for helping me out early. I'll see you Take a look. Because I can't talk to anyone else in this job who can uh, trade with. Um, nice and no coin. Don't forget me next time we heard. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait. so you're an alchemist No, you had no coin left on you. I thought I misread that. I cannot wait to get use useful right now. Oh, yeah, I had the low screen, didn't I? Well, what I was just saying was, I can't wait to get that speech perk where everyone has more coin. I gotta stop talking through those loading screens. I really gotta stop doing that. And you're, you know what? Take those. Uh, can I not get rid of everything? Okay, well, the, well, my inventory isn't too bad. That speech perk right now would be very useful. Can I get through? Damn. People just stop right in front of you. It's like, oh, hey, I want to talk. It's like, well, go. Go talk. Not, not to me. Alright, let's go to the Blue Palace. I feel like I wasted enough time already. Court likes the purse. I think we've done an excellent job of recreating it. Are we ready? I think my voice is ready. I hope we've done this well. I apologize, the episode's a little lengthy right now. I just want to hurry up and get this part done. I just wish you would walk a little faster. Cause, you know, that would be great. Takes an hour to walk up a single flight of stairs. Alright. Ah, Viarmo. I assume you are here to pass for the reinstatement of the burning of... Really, Jordis? Must you stand so close to me? I am, Jarl. I wish to present King Olaf's verse from the Poetic Edda. Recovered this very day from the Bard's tomb. You mentioned something that would convince us the festival should take place, but I didn't expect King Olaf's lost verse. Please proceed. Oh, Olaf, our subjugator, the one-eyed betrayer, death-dealing demon and dragon-killing king, your legend is lies, lurid, and false. 
Your cunning capture of Numenex, a con for the ages. No shouting match between dragon and man, and no fire or fury did this battle entail. Olaf was Numenex in human form. On moonless nights, he would spread wings and sail. Olaf grabbed power by promise and threat. From fall grief to winter hold, they fell to their knees. But solitude stood strong, Skyrim's truest protectors. Olaf's vengeance was instant, inspired, and wicked. Olaf gave orders, winter hold disguises. An attack on solitude, total destruction to follow. His men dressed up and then went out to fight, but they reversed Olaf's orders much to Winterhold's sorrow. So ends the story of Olaf the liar, a thief and a scoundrel. We of solitude commit to the fire. In solitude, bards train for their service. They also gather each year and burn a king who deserves it. You have proven your point, Viarmo. The festival is truly a celebration of solitude and a condemnation of false kings. I want to sleep here. Come on. I thank you, and the college thanks you, Jarl. Furthermore, I believe that such a fine poem deserves some payment of patronage. The college will be generously rewarded. Oh, thank you yet again. I will make sure our applicant, who was instrumental in... The recovering the poem will be well rewarded. Unbelievable! You have done us a great service here. I can't begin to thank you enough. You yeah, thank you. I did it again, didn't I? <sighs> Seriously, I didn't I didn't I meant to say you're welcome, not your thank you. Does that mean I'm a bard now? Soon, soon. Means no. It must be done properly. You will be inducted as part of the festival itself. I need you to go speak to Yorn. He was preparing the effigy of King Olaf. Tell him to finish the preparations. The festival is back on. Now we can end this episode finally. That took long enough, and I do apologize if it's like forty plus minutes again. Anyways. Uh, I'm going to end up stuff here. So, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.